So to give you a very brief introduction of the BIRT tool before I pass on to more learned colleagues, we know that back injury and the risk factors of back injury are multifactorial. In other words, it's not generally just a single risk factor that creates a, a, a position where people can get injured, but it's a combination of risk factors. And so what the BIRD tool is doing is trying to prompt you to look at those key groups of risk factors. It's not intended to be a risk assessment, although it'll be very informative for your risk assessments. It's looking at each group of risk factors and trying to determine whether these are the ones that you want to look more closely at. So Paul will go into this in a bit more detail in a second, but very briefly, the BIRD tool looks at static and dynamic postures, looks at manual handling and tries to identify whether you need to go and do a manual handling assessment because of that. Looks at the road conditions and the exposure to vibration, all or other um, sources of vibration. I know one question is about helicopters, for example. That could be a source, obviously, of significant vibration. Looks at the seat and eventually as gives you all of these factors, which you can then email yourself the outcomes and identify through a traffic light system like we do everything in HSC these days. Green meaning low risk, red meaning higher risk, amber meaning something's worth looking at, perhaps in the more medium term. It gives you a list of these groups of factors and then enables you to then start risk management. That will be risk assessment, risk reduction and controls or, or other management after you've done the bird tool and other risk assessments. So it's all about highlighting those risks as quickly as we can for you so that you can get the benefits of understanding what exposure you have in the workforce and where you should start looking about risk assessment and risk elimination. So that's a quick overview of, is this a serious problem? Yes, it's commensurate with the rest of industry. Um, we think there may be a lot of issues that are, are, are not being reported because of this difference between discomfort and disorder and the tool itself it will give you that really, really good overview very quickly once you've used it a few times 